You're listening to the Monday Night Community Show with Daniel on BRFM. This is the Daniel Monday Night Community Show on demand through YouTube. Thank you very much for choosing to listen to us through this method. If you'd like to keep up to date with when I add new interviews, then subscribe to this channel. So we're going to be talking to Dean. Uh, we're talking all about uh, how Dean and uh, Alan are performing a uh, performance. It's a Miranda down memory lane at the Criterion Museum. Music Hall in Blue Town. Uh, he'll be telling you all about that the uh, this evening. But firstly, thank you very much for uh, joining us. Thanks, Daniel. Yeah, it's lovely to be here with you. Thanks. I was hoping before we go on to uh, talking about what you're doing in uh, Blue Town, if you could just tell us a little bit about yourself, firstly. Yeah, sure. Yeah, so I was um, I was born in Medway. I was born in Gillingham, uh, and I've lived in Medway all my life, really. Uh, and and really from a young age uh, an interest and a passion in the theatre um, and I, as a young boy I was involved in the uh, Oast House Theatre over in Raynham and then when I, when I left school I mean I wanted to take a career in the theatre but you know as, as you can appreciate it's quite a risky business uh, and uh, I didn't have all the, the funding I required to go to drama school so I joined a financial institution uh, and spent 31 years with them. Uh, but in the last couple of years, after I took voluntary redundancy, um, I've been fortunate enough to be able to work in professional theatre. So I've had, had been involved in the theatre practically all my life through amateur theatre. But uh, yeah, it's great being in the last couple of years, been able to, uh, you know, a real passion that I've had in my life to be able to put that into the professional world. So it's been great. Well, Dean, I was hoping you could next tell us uh, all about what you are going to be doing at the uh, Music Hall in Blue Town. Yeah, we're over at uh, the Criterion Music Hall, um, which is right in the centre of Blue Town High Street. Um, we're doing a show called Meander Down Memory Lane, and it's it's a mixture of music and comedy through the last few decades. So uh, Alan Godman, who's appearing in the show with me, will be singing a selection of songs from the sort of the 40s, 50s, 60s and 70s, so all popular tunes the audience will know uh, interspersed with that I'll be performing some some comedy routines um, to uh, lighten the mood a little bit um, and I've got a passion which I'll talk about later for sort of variety in musical theatre myself and I'll be doing uh, it within my act is a tribute to Max Miller he was a great comedian sort of from the 40s and 50s um, so that will be included in the show as well uh, you know it's a beautiful venue the uh, the Blue Town if uh, if you haven't visited uh, there, it's, it's really, I'd encourage you to go across and, and support that uh, heritage centre here, right here on your, your own, you know, on your doorstep, because it is, it's amazing what they've done there, converting it from uh, what it used to be a music hall back at the turn of the century, and now um, and then it was used for various uh, purposes. The last was a, a kitchen warehouse, uh, and then, you know, in the last few years, they they've transformed it into a beautiful theatre, so it's it's you know it's a real pleasure to to perform there. I was hoping you could uh, next tell us a little bit about how you've uh, appeared in three uh, music hall seasons at the Criterion Music Hall. Yeah, I've been fortunate enough to, uh, as you say, perform there on three three occasions. And actually, the last show only finished last week, last Friday, the autumn season of Music Hall. Um, and it, it's, as, you know, we're talking about the venue just a moment ago, perfect venue for a musical because that's what the building was originally. You know, the first uh, musical on that site in Blue Town was in 1868. Uh, and then uh, during the war in 1917, German bombs, derelict, uh, made the building derelict, and uh, you know it's, it's now been rebuilt. So the the musicals and Paul Harris, um, a local uh, performer and, and former Radio Kent presenter, um, has has taken over the role of of chairman of these musicals, and he's chaired uh, the seasons uh, since it uh, started there. And you know it really goes back to the roots of, of musical. Paul acts as the chairman and introduces a a variety of acts. Uh, and the show we had, which finished last week, we ran for a six-week season um, in a great array of variety. Lots of uh, songs to get the audience singing along uh, in, in a perfect venue. And, uh, and there's three seasons each year. The, uh, the season's in the spring, in the, uh, the summer and in the autumn as well. Um, and it's, you know, it's a really nice venue for that, uh, that kind of entertainment. You, you get a cream tea in the interval. Um, so it's, you know, it's a real special, special afternoon. And, and the season that's just finished, be back at the, uh, the Criterion next March for another six-week season. So that opens on the, uh, the 10th of March. And it's 
already, you know, tickets are selling fast for that. Uh, and this season that's just finished last week was uh, the uh, broke all box office records at Blue Town. So it's it's certainly gaining popularity. So what else have you uh, been doing then? Uh, so as well as the, the musical, so that's sort of taken up quite a bit of time over the last six weeks. But I also do um, some stand-up comedy. Uh, last week I was down at the Billamon Club in Rochester uh, performing um, stand-up comedy there on the, the bill as well was Mark Felgate, another very funny comedian. Uh, so that's you know that's a great opportunity to do some, uh, some live stand-up. Back in the summer when I was up in Edinburgh, I did uh, some stand-up at The Stand in Edinburgh, which is uh, one of their prestigious comedy venues there. So, yeah, it's uh, it's it's been a busy few months, really. Um, and just this week, i am uh, been directing and will be performing in a musical review at the Oast House Theatre in Rainham, all about the 50s, back to the 50s. So the, the last few weeks has uh, been pretty hectic. And I know you next wanted to talk uh, a little bit about uh, how you're going to be performing on the 24th of November. Yeah, on the 24th, which is, is three weeks uh, time, actually, actually on a Monday evening, I'm performing in London at the uh, Club for Act and Actors which is in uh, Bedford Street which is right in the centre of the West End near Covent Garden um, and uh, I should be performing there some of my, my stand up comedy uh, for the uh, for a variety show and they have a, a show there each week for members of the CAA um, and uh, yeah that's sort of through my connections with the club I'm a member of the club and also through the, um, the British Musical Society which uh, I am a member of and uh, serve on their committee and organise their their monthly study groups as well so that's uh, we use that venue for uh for our meetings and, and shows as well so it'd be great to to be performing up there i have performed at the uh at the club before uh so it'd be great to go back there and uh, and do a bit of a uh, comedy in the uh, in the show so looking forward to that so do you appear in pantomimes as as well dean yeah, pantomimes have been a big part in my sort of uh, theatrical experience, really. Um, so my first panto was back in 1980 at the Oast House Theatre in Raynham, and, and I've appeared probably in over 25 pantos there. Uh, but in the last couple of years, I've been fortunate enough to prefer, perform in uh, professional panto. Uh, two years ago, I was down at uh, the, the theatre in Chatham, down at Dickens World, Britannia Theatre. Uh, and last year, a uh, great panto season over at the Hazlitt Theatre in Maidstone uh, with Blue Genie Entertainments. Uh, and I uh, played, uh, with the panto was Dick Whittington, and I played uh, Alderman Fitzwarren and The Sultan as well, so two parts. Uh, and it was, it was a great show. Um, I appeared there um, with Jimmy Burton Isles, who played the Dame, and was with Jimmy as well in the music hall, uh, which uh, we talked about a little while ago. We played. Uh, together there in the musical which finished on friday so that, that was a great panto season um, also in the in the production was keith jack who was a runner-up in the bbc program any dream will do and kerry burnell from cbb so that was uh yeah great uh, sort of six week run over there um and playing to to packed houses so panto yeah is, is really really important part of my um sort of theatrical year really and it's uh, you know it's great to great fun to get be involved in and uh, dean uh, will you be appearing in uh, any pantomimes this year yeah I, i'm appearing in well panto starts in january 2015 so just rehearsing now and uh, and that's over at the oast house theater in Raynham, which is the home of the Raynham Theatrical Society, uh, and I'll be playing Dame back with uh, with my false chest on and uh, into frocks, playing Madame Fifi in a uh, production of Beauty and the Beast, uh, a traditional panto, so probably not a, an ideal um, or a usual choice for a panto, but this is a, is a great family show. Got all the ingredients of a traditional family uh, pantomime, lots of audience participation and. Uh, dame comedy parts a goodie a baddie so plenty of cheering and booing so yeah it'd be great to uh, to get involved in panto again uh, as a dame uh, and that opens on the 9th of january and we run every friday and saturday right through until the end of january um so every friday night at eight o'clock and then on saturdays we do three shows two o'clock five o'clock and eight o'clock in the evening and, and even one on one of the uh, Saturdays, we've got a, a morning show as well. So four shows in one day. So that's uh, that's test the stamina a little bit, but uh, it, it's great fun, and they're always very very popular. So do you give uh, talks as well? 
Yeah, I, I um, one of my um, other areas I do is, is going out to local groups and organisations uh, in the Kent, Surrey, sort of Sussex area, uh, and talk about my passion for theatre, uh, variety, musical. Uh, the, the talks I've got at the moment that I'm, I give you are the, the history of the Royal Variety performance and the, uh, the Victoria Palace Theatre in London which was the home of the crazy gang for many years. So they're sort of the two of my, my talks that I'm going out on the road at the moment. So uh, it was this afternoon, actually, I was down in uh, Housted, um, their seniors club, talking to them about the, the Royal Variety performance and, and coming over to Sheppey uh, in a short while, uh, the Sheppey Over 55 club. Uh, giving one of my talks there and uh, so yeah it's it's great because it uh, you know it keeps that passion I can share that passion of my theatre with lots of other groups and and organisations so uh, yeah if you know if you belong to a club or group uh, and you have speakers be more than happy to come along and, and, and talk about some of those topics just in the process of writing a new talk as well all about the stars of variety from the sort of the 40s and 50s so be sort of covering people such as Arthur Askey and Tommy Trinder, Max Miller, uh, you know, and talking about the the impact they had on variety. So it's uh, yeah, it's it's good, uh, it's good fun. And then before you go, I was hoping you could just refresh our listeners all about that when it's happening and how they can uh, get more information or, of course, uh, contact the booking office. Sure, yeah. So the the Meander Down Memory Lane, which is a mixture of music and comedy, is at the Criterion Music Hall on Sunday, the sixteenth of November, and it's an afternoon show. So you haven't got to be worrying about turning out on a cold winter's night. Uh, pop along to the theatre for a, a great uh, afternoon of entertainment down at the. Uh, uh, the music hall there and if you haven't been to that uh, venue it really is a gem of a theatre uh, to book your tickets tickets are just £10 each um, you can telephone the box office on 01795 662981 or if you're in the area uh, pop down to, to the Blue Town Heritage Centre right in the centre of Blue Town High Street uh, and you can uh, get your tickets uh, from the, the delightful staff that are there to help you and also um, it's a really interesting little museum at the uh, centre and a nice little cafe you can get a cup of tea and a nice homemade slice of cake uh, so it's you know it's a great venue to visit um, and lots of different things going on but uh, so it would be a pleasure to go back there again uh, on the 16th of November to uh, to perform for uh, hopefully uh, you know a lot of uh, friends and uh, and new people that perhaps haven't been to the theatre before that particular venue for a great afternoon reminiscing with some fantastic music and comedy well, Dean, I'd like to thank you very much for coming along and uh, telling listeners uh, all about what you're doing and your performance at the Blue Town Heritage Centre. Thank you, Daniel. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. And I uh, hope some of your listeners will come along and, uh, and see the show. Thanks a lot. That is Dean talking to us this evening all about uh, the performance he's doing at the Criteria Music Hall, of course, at the Blue Town Heritage Centre on Sunday the 16th of November. <laughs> 